Hi, I am Shashwin Nair, son of Chandra. I am Turga Bigay, Ramesh Rai. And I am Muhammad Danish bin Muhammad Sharad Bichu. We are from SMP King George V. Our research project is entitled Straw Musa, Natural Drinking Straw from Banana Leaves. Ladies and gentlemen, let's now focus on the objectives of our research. Firstly, it is to reduce land pollution due to the nature of plastic straws that are non-biodegradable. Next, to reduce marine life that have been dying because of plastic straws. Last but not least, to lessen the waste produced daily by using and adding value to banana leaves. These are our materials. They are banana leaves, tapioca powder, polyvinyl acetate or PBA glue, shred, paper straws, hot glue sticks, and three mediums of acid, neutral, and alkaline. Ladies and gentlemen, let's now move to the methodology. First is the preparation of banana leaves. The banana leaves are separated from the nutrients and washed with water to remove impurities. The leaves are then white, dry, and iron. Next, the leaves are soaked in lukewarm water for 30 minutes, white, dry, and stored in the crystal drawer. The second method is making drinking straw with design A. The leaves are cut in a rectangular shape with a measurement of 21 cm times 20 cm and two types of adhesives, tapioca and PVA, are applied on the inner surface of the cut leaf and rolled horizontally over the hot glue stick. Both ends of the straw are tied with threads and the drinking straws are dried in the oven at the temperature of 60 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. Next is making drinking straw design B. The leaves are cut with a measurement of 4 cm times 20 cm. Two types of adhesive, which are tapioca and PVA, are applied on the inner surface of the leaf before rolling it over on a hot glue stick at a 45 degrees angle. The straws are then dried in the oven at a temperature of 60 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. Now it's preparation of tapioca adhesive. Four tablespoons, which is the equivalent of 46.63 grams of tapioca powder, are added with 500 milliliters of distilled water. The mixture is then put on a hot plate, stirred and heated for 45 minutes. Next is the dry and salt test procedure. First, straws with PDA adhesive, tapioca adhesive, and paper straws, which acts as control, will cut the length of 4 cm. Then, the straws will placed on the cheap puzzle machine. The machine stopped when the uh, straws play. The value of it was calculated with the formula stress equals to force over area. For the wet pencil test procedure, the straws with PVA adhesive, tapioca adhesive, and paper straws will cut to the length of 4 cm and soak in distilled water for an hour. Then, the straws were placed on the sheet by the machine. The machine stopped when the straws split. The same procedure was carried out as the dry pencil test. For the toilet test procedure, three samples of the drinking straws, which are tapioca, Polyvinyl acetate and paper straws are cut into 4 cm in length, labeled and weighed. Three mediums, which are the acetate acid, distilled water, and sodium chloride, are prepared. The straws are soaked and stirred in the beaker on a hot plate for one hour. The straws are taken out to dry and weighed. The swelling ratio is calculated using the formula final weight minus initial weight over initial weight. For the customer satisfaction survey, the survey, which is made out of Five questions are given to the consumers of different ages and various genders to get their opinion of our product. For both the dry pencil test and the wet pencil test, the strength of the drinking straw with PVA adhesive is higher than the drinking straw with tapioca adhesive. So it can prove that the drinking straw with PVA and tapioca adhesive do not absorb as much water as paper straws. This is due to the nature of banana leaf. They are hydrophobic. With all the mediums tested, we can conclude that strong musa is suitable for any type of drink as they do not become easily soggy. Most consumers were satisfied with the quality and appearance of strong musa, but they prefer design B. They also indicated that factors like material and appearance determine how they choose their drinking straw compared to quality and price. Consumers also choose strong musa design B and the straw that they would recommend to others. The leaves that were stored in the crystal drawer could last about 6 days, maintaining green colour with some yellow spots. If proper storage is prepared, 
The banana leaves have a shelf life of about a week. Table for cost comparison. We can see that the cost to produce robusta is the lowest compared to plastic, bamboo, and paper straws. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to conclude our research project. With pollution level increasing at an alarming rate, biodegradable and eco friendly products such as Tromosa are widely being used by all walks of life these days as it is the perfect alternative to plastic and polymer based products. Next, producing straw from banana leaves aims to create a greener environment and use up the natural waste which is left to decay or thrown without having its purpose to be reused. Furthermore, Switching to reusable banana leaf based straw is very cost effective. Last but not least, banana straw is the best straw and is waterproof and allows everyone to stop using plastic and paper straws.